Hello everyone, so welcome back to this video. I know it's been a little while, but I am now finished with my college project, which means I finally have time to make some new things. So I was actually quite excited to have a go do some painting since all of my project was done digitally. So I haven't actually painted in a while. Uh, when I was thinking about what I wanted to paint, um, I was gonna do a landscape like I normally always do. And that's kind of when I realized that I need to try new things with my painting because I, I do always paint the exact same thing pretty much. It's always a landscape, usually with some water in it and some trees. And I don't think that's really a way that's going to improve my art the most if I just keep drawing the same subject again and again and again. So one thing that I always kind of hide away from is painting buildings and plants up close. Whenever I see a photo like that I always just avoid it completely. I I guess I'm scared of doing it. I think it's gonna be difficult and I painting isn't always my strong point or anyway. So you know if I can avoid something that I know is gonna be hard for me then I do. But you know that's not the way that you improve. So I was looking at some like royalty free images and I found this one, this little building of plants and I thought, you know, maybe this one will be easy enough for me to have a go at successfully. And it didn't really go that well. But then what do I expect? It's something that I don't do ever. Um, I haven't practiced it before. So actually for a first attempt, I don't think it was that bad. I was gonna give up with it, but that kind of ruins the point of making a video about trying new things and things that are difficult and things that you avoid if I had just given up with the video. So I stuck with it and towards the end, once I peeled the tape off, it did actually look better than I thought. So I suppose that kind of ties in with the other video I made about sticking with it and not giving up because I think that was quite important with this video to do that. Yeah, in terms of materials and stuff, um, it's just done with my normal gouache paints, so my Daily Rowney professional gouache paints, and I have a couple of tubes of like Windsor Newton ones, which are really good as well. But yeah, it took me altogether, I think, about half an hour to do this painting, and straight afterwards, because I wasn't that happy with it, I did do another one of a different subject. I chose something slightly easier. It was a, a castle with some leaves on it. And I like that one a lot better, so I think, you know, already it's just improvement. So I'm probably going to do more. Hopefully I will. I think it is important to keep going with things that you find difficult, because that is how you get better at stuff. And it's you've just got to understand that, you know, the first time you do it, it's probably not going to work out that well, and neither the second time or the third time. But if you keep doing it, it will no longer be something that you're not good at. I never, never, never used to draw animals or plants ever when I was younger. And my, I only ever used to draw people. And my dad would always say to me, you should draw more things, you should draw more things, and I didn't because I guess I was scared of it. And now all I ever draw is animals and plants. So, you know, it, it pays to try new things. But yeah, here's the final look at the painting. The peeling off bit is definitely the best. I think having a good framed painting like this does make it look a lot better, so I was pleased with that at least. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, um, there will be more soon, hopefully, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.